Welcome back to this week's Lincoln Broadcast. I'm Trisha Bailey bringing you the latest news. This week we're heading over to Skylar first to see the hidden emoji of the week. This week's emoji is, and when you find it, email Trisha at trbailey at rochesterschools.org to be entered into a drawing to win a prize. Good luck! Thanks, Skylar. Next, we go over to Mr. S, who has some things he wants to share. Mr. S? I don't know if you've seen this awesome little sign here, but uh, Trisha actually did this over the summer, right? She did something, she wanted to do something positive, and she said, how about this? I love it when people do that at Lincoln. They try to make this place even better. So if you've got ideas, let me know, but let's take a look at the last few sentences. Be the kid who can get along. Be the kid who is generous. Be the kid who is happy for other people. Be the kid who does the right thing and be the nice kid. That's what we love about Lincoln. Be good to one another. Have an awesome day. Thanks, Mr. S. And next, we head over to Andrea for the weather forecast. On Monday, it's going to be a high of 38 and it's going to be partly cloudy. On Tuesday, it's going to be 42 and sunny. And on Wednesday, it's going to be 47 and partly cloudy. So, and it's going to be a short week because it's going to be MA. But remember to bring your jackets and your sweatshirts and everything else. Thanks, Andrea. And now it's time to celebrate the birthdays at Lincoln this week. Guess what? Last week, I made a mistake and I put in Mayor's picture instead of Morgan's. My apologies, Morgan. So you get your birthday announced again, but this time with your picture instead of your brother's. It's your birthday today. It's your birthday today. There's a cat licking your birthday cake. It's your birthday today. It's your birthday today. Everybody say hooray. There's a cat licking your birthday cake. It's your birthday today. He can't read, so he does not know that the cake is not for him. No, it might be his birthday. Happy birthday to you all. I hope you all have a great day, or Morgan had a great day, celebrating you. Well, up next, we have some more staff snapshots. Watch to learn more about the media staff at Lincoln this week. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead in your mind, from your nice warm bed You just remember what your old past said Boy, you got a friend in me Watch next week to learn more about our kitchen and maintenance staff. And now, here are the memes of the week. Thanks, boys. Well, it's now time for the reveal of the doll in the hall. Last week, that bear doll was hiding right down by door nine, tucked behind the exit sign with his little legs dangling down. Well, I can't wait to see who the lucky winner of that doll will be this week off the blue cart. Well, and now here is this week's doll to be looking for. When you find him, come see me and I'll give you a yellow slip. And now we head back over to Skylar for the happenings around Lincoln. New to the broadcast, we will be bringing you the home games, activities, and performances at JM, Century, and Mayo High Schools each week. Here's the schedule for the week of October 17th. Here's what's happening at JM this week. On Tuesday, there's a football 7A and 8A game, a swim and dive meet, and a girls tennis varsity sections. On Wednesday, there is a varsity football game. Today on Monday, we have a football 7A and 8A game. On Tuesday, we have a swim and dive meet for girls, JV, and varsity. We also have a tennis girls varsity sections. 
these are the things that are happening at Century High School. On Monday the 17th, there's a swim and dive meet girls, JV, and varsity. On the 18th, there's a tennis girls varsity sections, football 7A and 8A game, and girls volleyball. On the 20th, there's a football 9A game, and that's it. Picture retakes are this Wednesday. If you missed picture day or didn't like your first picture, come ready for your picture to be taken Wednesday. If you're getting your retake, remember to bring in your first packet. We've had a slow start to the year for high V receipts. Don't forget to remind your parents to keep sending them in with you. Remember, drop boxes are located inside the office, in front of the entryway, as well as in the back of the building, by the gardens. So bring every high V receipt to the school. Every dollar helps. Now watch this video that our ESP, Chris, and some helpers reminding us of the lunchroom and playground expectations. Go. Always be kind and courteous. Use kind words. Go. Always ask if you need to go inside. You should not be in the building during recess unless a teacher or para has given you permission or a pass. Don't stand by the doors waiting to go in if the door is opened. When you play on the big and little toy, play safe, no pushing, and never walk up the slide. If you have a conflict with another student, try to resolve it yourself. If you can't, ask a para to help. When playing games like basketball, football, dodgeball, or basketball, include anyone that wants to play. Take turns. Make fair teams. Follow the rules. Beware of younger kids. Be honest. Next, Caleb and Amelia bring us the info for the PPT on the upcoming Trunk or Treat event at Lincoln. Come join us for a spectacular event. Lincoln K-8. Trunk or Treat. October 29th. From 1 to 3 p.m. On the school playground. Have fun. Wear your costumes. Make sure you are planning your costume. Come join the fun at Lincoln on Saturday, October 29th from 1 to 3 p.m. at Lincoln Playground. And parents, remember the PPT is looking for volunteers. Scan this QR code to help. I know they are looking for lots of donations of candy and toys. There are still slots open to bring in your decorative vehicle. There's lots of excitement in fifth grade last Friday. Parents were invited to see the fifth graders' space science exhibits. Here's a short clip of some of the fun that was happening in fifth grade last week. Um, the moon was formed 4.51 billion years ago. It, this is a model I made of Mars. This is Demos, the smallest moon. Okay, so this project is basically um, about supernovas and black holes, and it talks about five, five fa no, five facts on supernovas and six facts on black holes. And then we also have a picture, pictures, multiple pictures on the side, and a picture down here. Next, we have Kate and Mia who want to share about a community service project that they are doing and they are wanting your help. Hi, I'm Mia and I'm Kate and, and we're 8th graders here at Lincoln. We are doing a community service project for our common arts class. We want to support the Landing in Rochester, which is an organization that helps give people experiencing homelessness in Rochester a safe and warm place to stay. 
They have served over 800 individuals already this year, but we want to help them exceed that number. We are, we are doing, doing a supply slash food drive, drive to, support to support the landing. landing. We are challenging each grade K through 5 and each upper's homeroom to bring in the most items to help us support the landing. Here is a list of items that the landing is in need of. It includes personal essentials as well as individual microwavable food items. Bring these items into the basket in the assigned classrooms. The winning grade slash homeroom will win a pizza party on November 7th. All items need to be brought to school by October 31st. So you just have two weeks to bring in your items. Let's, Let's all work, work together to support, support the people experiencing homelessness because, because everyone deserves a safe place to land. Thanks, everyone. Up next is the lunch menu brought to us by Isla and Kennedy. Here's what to expect for lunch in the cafeteria this week. Hi, my name is Kennedy. Hi, my name is Isla. And we'll be giving you the lunch menu this week. On Monday, we will be having mini cheese pizza bagels with green beans and fresh baby carrots and chilled peaches. T Tuesday's lunch, we will be having orange chicken and brown rice and mixed vegetables with fresh broccoli and pineapple tippets. And on Wednesday for <coughs> lunch, there will be be beef and cheese nachos with cheesy refried beans, lettuce and tomatoes, and a fruit cup. There will be no, no school, school on Thursday and Friday, Friday. But this, this week. week. Back, Back to you, Skylar. And now, here's the yellow slip winners from last week. Skylar, and congratulations to all our yellow slip winners. I'll see you when you come to the office to pick out your prize. Well, up next, we have some Lincoln Laughs, brought to us by Blake and Hannah and Mila and Trey. Who's next? Who's there? Philip. 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 you call to which is sharing an apartment? Roommates. Thanks for the laughs, everybody. Well, now it's time for this week's mystery student. See if you can figure out who this is. Thanks for participating, Eli. It's nice to learn a little more about you. Well, it's now time for the emoji drawing. The winners last week were Megan and Brady. And the winners this week are, there's a lot of them, a lot of entries. Brandon R. and Scarlett D. Congratulations, I will see you when you come to the office to pick up your prize. We'll end now with some inspirational quotes read to us by Jace and... Autumn is the season that teaches us change can be beautiful. Notice that autumn is more the season of the soul than the nature. Well, everyone, that's a wrap. I'm Trisha Bailey. Thanks for watching this week's broadcast, and we'll see you back here next week. And enjoy your nice, long weekend. For me, I really like cold. What do you like about corn? It's cold! A good corn that knocks and has the juice. I'm not a more beautiful thing. It's cold! I can tell you all about it. I mean, week's Lincoln. Oh, wow. Way to start. I don't know if you've seen. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Oh! Okay, ready? Rogers. Just... I know, <laughs> dude, this gets people every single Games time. like volleyball, football, uh, dodgeball, or... Uh, I need to go inside. You should never... Uh, and Mia, 
who I want to share. <laughs> that's hard. That's all right. Okay. And no pause. <clears throat> and we're doing this here. Kay. I read the wrong line. Okay, it's okay. Community <laughs> service project for our guy. <laughs> <laughs> we must. Okay, and the extra 